Christine O'Grady Greger is an American politician who served as the 22nd governor of the state of Washington from 2005 to 2013. A member of the Democratic Party, Greger defeated Republican candidate Dino Rossi in 2004, and again in 2008. She is the second female governor of Washington. She was the National Governors Association chairwoman for the 2010 A Circumflex 11 term. After she left the governorship, some sources reported that she was being considered for a position in Barack Obama's cabinet in his second term, possibly in the State Department, or as United States Secretary of the Interior. However, John Kerry became the United States Secretary of State while Sally Jewell was nominated for the position of Interior Secretary. Gregor currently serves on the Governor's Council of the Bipartisan Policy Center in Washington, D.C. Gregor was born in Adrian, Michigan. She was raised in Auburn, Washington, by her mother, Sybil Grace Jacobs, who worked as a short-order cook to support the family. After graduating from Auburn Senior High School, she attended the University of Washington in Seattle, graduating in 1969 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Speech and Sociology. At Dubwood, she became a member of the Sigma Rhi Ota chapter of the Kappa Delta Sorority. She then attended law school at Gonzaga University in Spokane, receiving her Juris Doctor in 1977. She went to work as an Assistant Attorney General in the Office of State Attorney General Slade Gordon a Republican. As an assistant attorney general, Gregor concentrated on child abuse cases, coordinating with social workers to get children removed from abusive family situations and placed with relatives or foster homes. Elected to office as attorney general in 1992, Gregor's term included a scandal where in her office failed to file a timely appeal on a $17.8 million judgment against the state at that time the largest such judgment in Washington state history. The court determined the Attorney General's office lacked any reasonable procedure for calendaring hearings. Gregor defeated Ronsoms and four other minor candidates in the primary election on September 14, 2004. She had come under fire during the primary for her membership in Kappa Delta and for that sorority's non-white membership policy in the late 1960s. She clashed with Sims over her position at the sorority and Sims later dropped the issue and dismissed any claims of racism. Sims campaigned on the need for tax reform and the institution of a statewide income tax. Greg won the primary with over 60% of the vote. During the general election against former state senator and real estate agent Dino Rossi, Gregor proposed a major initiative in life sciences especially by increasing state funding for embryonic stem cell research. In debates, Gregor tried to counter voter runnies about the state government by saying she would blow past the bureaucracy and bring change herself. With a focus on change, but with little detail on specifics, many state Democratic leaders expressed concerns about the kind of leader Gregor would be. Gregor would win the backing of the legislature within six months, after pushing through a number of important measures on car emission standards and unemployment benefits. The election was held on November 2, 2004, with the initial count showing Greg A. trailing Rossi by 261 votes. However, a legally mandated machine recount reduced that lead to only 42 votes, then a hand count that was requested and funded by the state's Democratic Party gave Greg a 10-vote lead. Following a state Supreme Court ruling that allowed several hundred ballots from King County to be included, her lead was further increased to 130 votes, but when the vote was certified by the state's Secretary of State, Sam Reed, at the end of December, one vote which had been counted in Thurston County past the deadline was disqualified and her lead was reduced to 129 votes. Washington's Republican leadership then filed suit claiming that hundreds of votes, including votes by felons, deceased voters, and double voters, were included in the canvas. But on June 6, 2005, Judge Johnny Bridges ruled that the Republican Party did not provide enough evidence 
that the disputed votes were ineligibly for whom they were cast to overturn the election.